Hey guys, I'm back again and right now I'm doing a book review. So this is for 20 cro 21 crochet tanks and tunics. So this book is really, really nice and I want to do every single one in it. Even if it's not for me, just for the shop, but I want to make every one. So 21 tank tanks, tanks and tunics, tanks and tunics. Stylish designs for every occasion by Sandy Rosner. So, let's see the first one. It's got lots of introduction pages, abbreviations. It doesn't have a gallery of every single um, picture, you know, for the pattern that's in here. So I'm going to go through each one. So there's this one and it's called Folsom and it's a wraparound tunic. So there's the back. I'm not sure if you can see the little belt thing. And there, you can see the side where it ties up. So that looks pretty cool. And then we have Valencia. So a lot of these designs are pretty simple. Um, so yeah, simple but beautiful. And then Sutter. I love this one. That one is so me. I like the way they've styled it there with the long white skirt. I think that looks so beautiful. Right, and then the next one, Cortola. And that's the back. I'm hoping that the windows are, you know, the light's not shining too much on it. Right, so this is the one that I've um, I've started making, Potrero. So that's beautiful. Yeah. That's the back of it. So yeah, that's it's a really quick make. She's using a um, herringbone herringbone half double crochet. So one thing that is annoying me about it is I love half double crochets. I think they are the best stitch going they're just so fast so fast so simple and i've never done the half uh, the herringbone half double crochet before so when i started it yesterday i was getting so annoyed because i've just taken such a quick stitch and made it slow <laughs> but you know as you get used to the stitch and you know the rhythm of the movement you do pick it up and you get faster but it still irks me that the fastest stitch for me has now become very slow but you know it's making a nice top so it's okay it's fine i can handle it it won't kill me right so this next one is called sansome or sansome you know that is beautiful isn't it beautiful right, and there's the back A lot of these don't are either done in sport weight or DK. Oh, and there's a whole body picture. So yeah, it's really nice. Like the next one I'm in love with. Um, but it's changing colour every row. So it might annoy me a bit, but I do want to make it next. I want to make it with um this sienna. The denim that I've got left over and um, from the other jacket the same and that rust. And then I'm thinking of adding either, one sec. Sending wool flying. Right, so. Then free and adding either one of them with it. So looking there, I think I might add that bottom one. It's called Toy from um, Starcraft Special DK. 
Yeah, I think the toy might blend better than the cream. I think the cream would be a bit too bright. So yeah, might start that today actually. Okay, that's that one. So as you can see, it's changing colour every single row and every round on the granny squares. Um, so yeah, I think those colours will be nice for this. So yeah, it is in DK weight number three. You only need, if you're making the smaller two sizes, which is the 34 bust, the 37 and a half bust, you only need one ball of each colour. So that's really good. And a four millimetre hook and a five millimetre hook. So yeah. Should be quick to make just a lot of ends to sew in. So yeah, and that's the back of it. Four, yeah, I might start that one. Actually, now I've said that, I want to start that one. I've shown the colours. I really want to start that one. <sighs> right. Pacific is that one. And then we have the back picture. So as you can see, you've got a lot of really beautiful, simple, nice, this one what's this one called clipper now that one is done in fingering weight so yeah i mean it looks nice but it's going to take a bit of time isn't it sorry i had a message right yeah and there's the back one Right, so then we've got Greenwich. Who's that? And then the back of it. So it's got a really nice colour. Yeah, that's some in DK as well. I love it when these things have, um, this one's got a full body picture. I love it when these books have a lot of DK weight patterns in because even though it's an American book, usually it's all like worsted weight or fingering weight. Um, in here in the UK, we use mostly DK weight. So to find a book that has quite a lot of number three weight in it, really good. <laughs> I appreciate it. Now, this next one, Taraval, I am in love with. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. In these colours as well, I just love it so look at how beautiful that is that is just gorgeous I, I would wear that myself i probably never want to take it off to be honest with you i love styles like that and there is the back so just so simple but then that neck edge just that neck edge is everything then we have montgomery montgomery darling and it's that with a lot of buttons. So that might be one of the last ones that I make. I hate doing buttons because you've got to be so precise. And then there's the back. And there's the large picture. I like how it has different stitches on that because I like having a mixture of stitches and textures on my things just like with this like I don't know just mix up the texture a bit mix up the stitches and I think the garment looks even more special that's this one's called Pacheco it's got that beautiful really neck edge and then, the back piece so this is the one that's also on the front cover um there we go i'm trying to hide the pattern <laughs> then we have octavia it's a gorgeous green color i love it and another gem necklace and then this one has a bit of a weird back but 
still love wear. It's just different. And there's nothing wrong with different now, is there? Right, this one's called Woodside. And this one has beads on it. So it's just simple, but it has beads around the edge, on the bottom of that, and also around the arm and neck edge. So I've not really worked with beads on a project before, so that will be a learning curve for me. But well worth doing, I think. And there we have it. Then we have Ashbury, which is that one. And here's the back. And this one, Divisidero. Are they Spanish, these names? Right, so that's the front. And then, there's the back. And there's a full body picture. Right, quite nice, that one, isn't it? Right, so this one's called Marina. This one I think is my least favourite out of the book. But it's still beautiful. And then this one. And that one doesn't have a full body picture. Right, so this one is called Burnout. This is kind of definitely a younger fashion. And the back. Yeah, not my cup of tea, but it's still very, very pretty. Then we have Clements, which is that one. It's just nice, that one, isn't it? Back. And full body picture. Right, and here's another younger fashion, which I would never wear. But I feel like the way the top shapes out, it would just, I have large hips anyway, so this would make my hips look abnormally large. And it's called Balboa. Can you see it? There we are. So see the way it comes out? And then the back. So yeah, I think you've got to be thin to get away with that style. That style. And that was the last one. And then at the end, you've just got like your stitch guides, like you get in magazines. And it teaches you how to do the one with the beads, which is good. Yeah. So that's my new book. What do you think of it? I think it's really, really good. So yeah, I've almost finished one of them, so I've just got another 20 to go. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it and they are nice, simple patterns. I feel like on all of them, um, there's only a certain amount of time that you actually have to read into the pattern. The rest you can just, I don't know, the bodies on most of them are just simple. So once you know the stitch that you're using, you can just get on with it to the measurement that it says. Um, and there's only a certain amount of times that you have to actually take notice of the pattern, which I love. I mean, if I've got the kids around me and, you know, they're always, Mum, look at this, Mum, look at that, Mum, did you hear this, Mum, did you hear Mum, 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 Mum. You can't always concentrate. So, nice and simple things like this are just for my cup of tea. They really are. And they also look good. I always think that's the simple things look the best. It's nice to have like something with so much lace or um, like so much detail to it. But, you know, it's the simple things that you wear every day that, you know, that are just cosy and comfy and people relate to. So I am happy. I'm really happy. Right then.
So I'm going to do another video. Um, yeah, and this one's going to be a yarn haul. So I shall see you again shortly. Bye.